Welcome to Epatshala, myself Richa, working as assistant professor in the Department of Political Science in MCM DAV College, Chandigarh. Today I will talk about the institutional approach. So institution, we can consider it as the center of the politics. There are various approaches in politics. The first one is the historical approach. The historical approach basically tells us about the past event. Second one is the philosophical approach, which basically tells us about what ought to be. The third one is the legal approach, which basically tells us about the laws and various aspects of legalities of the state. The institutional approach basically talks about the organs of the government. Basically, we can say that, that the institution are normative and they are based upon, they are value based studied and they are not scientific in nature. The objectives are to understand the traditional approaches and to familiar with the institutional approach and to know the subject matter of the approach and to know the difference between the structural and institutional approach. Political theory is abstract knowledge of politics that is attempted to be understood by continuous observation, argumentation and explanation. Political theory involves the analytical study of ideas and doctrine that have been central to political thought. Traditionally, this has taken from the form of a history of political thought, focusing upon collection of major thinkers, for instance from Plato to Marx and the canon of classic text. As it studies the end and means of the political action, Political theory is clearly concerned with ethical or normative questions such as why should I obey the state, how should rewards be distributed and what should be the limits of individual liberty. Political theory is basically a search for truth that can lead to wisdom and more understanding. The traditional approaches try to answer ethical questions. They try to explore the worlds of morality and answer what is good or bad. They also endeavor to bring forth in detail the existing body of knowledge regarding politics and then subsequently adding new knowledge to it. The traditional approach is explained and then try to predict. The theory tries to guide actions of the society so that an ideal society state can become a concrete reality. But the theory is the subjective viewpoint of the thinker. Research is done by any researcher keeping a political vision in mind. It is an effort to be the one's own master and also decide how one is to be live on one's life. Plamlet says that the political theories using the traditional approaches are like honest shopkeepers who display all their goods leaving it on their customers to choose whatever they think is the best. They tell in detail the principles and try to explain how men should use them to make their choices. This is how they help to provide them with practical philosophy. They are not more purveyors of ideas, they are the preachers and propagandists. Traditional approaches tells us how people should interact with each other and what kind of laws should be passed. In this sense, they are normative, but the descriptive part also explains how people, institutions, laws are in real life. In this way, descriptive thinking can be said to be mirror the world, while normative thinking aims to change it. They believe in describing and hoping to set up a state which should be the best one can hope for. The traditional approaches are concerned with the world that ought to be and thus sets goals that are achievable. For this, one has to know the world as it is along with the human beings, the people who inhabit it. Taking help from history, sociology, they study the various institutions. So institutional theory, Plato believed that certain are needed in the society. His disciple Aristotle also stressed on values and gave his notion of an ideal state like his master. Though the ideal state was a utopia, an imaginary state, the approach was normative as the idea was of the thinker. The idea however utopian was something which the political thinker thought could be achieved. So 
principles or external ideas were the foundation of traditional approaches. The concept of goodness is very important and balance is tries to be maintained as to what should be. Every age has its own values and they do change with passing generation. This makes the traditional approaches give importance to values as they are mirrors of the society. The traditional approaches were not analytical and were more descriptive. Sometimes the conclusion are said to be prior deduction, but a lot thought and some new perspectives with every researcher goes into giving any conclusion. Traditional approaches were dominated by history, law and philosophy. They believed in floating new ideas to achieve the best for any society. This approach believes that the study of politics would be meaningless if the subject does not try to realize certain values. Thus, there is emphasis on value. It stresses that every state should have a set of values which it should try to achieve. Thus, we can understand Plato's thought of a philosopher king, the guardian class, the communism of property and vice. Thus, the traditional approaches are value-based and emphasize on some core values of society. The institutional approach. Institutions were defined in a narrow sense overlapping with the state powers, legislative, executive and judiciary, civil administration and the military bureaucracy. This type of analysis was formal using as the main source of information constitutional text, legal document, and jurisprudence. Institution captures total attention in the institutional approach where the individual is undermined and the position that they occupy is more important. The organizations that are included in the constitution are the focus of study. It is in these institutions that decisions are taken and policies are made. A study of any government or politics of a state would definitely be incomplete without the study of its formal institution. The institution to be studied have legal identity and are recognized both by the constitution as well as the law of the land. Institutions are established forms of processes and procedures. They are those organizations through which human beings come together to perform all those activities that are essential for a good life. These institutions like family, school, etc. satisfy the various needs of the people. They are formal institutions and are well organized. A majority of the political scientists felt that politics was the study of government, state or the other related institution. The rules of an institution are important to analyze the various political happening. An institution is a formal organization, often with the public status, whose members interact on the basis of specific roles they perform within the organization. In politics, an institution typically refers to an organ of government mandated by the constitution. This approach studies the behavior of institutes. Institutes includes all those originations mentioned and specified in the constitution and even those that are not constitution specified. Institutional approach emphasis on institutions because they bring about stability in a state. They are the ones which manage to make, the, make and maintain an environment in which all the decisions are taken. The values and interests are also decided within these institutions. In every setup, there are certain people who benefit. These are the class cases when institutions are set up for the benefit of a class or for a particular section of the society. Institutions are studied because they provide a framework where decisions are taken. Institutions help the people to stick together because they promise certain rewards in the shape of agendas, policies and law. Institutions like judiciary resolve problems and help maintain stability. They are the pillars which bring, which being about some kind of order in politics. These institutions can evolve gradually and then play a crucial role in maintaining as well as predicting. 
institutional analysis assumes that position within organizations matter more than the people who occupy them. The axiom enables us to discuss roles than people, presidencies rather than presidents, legislature rather than legislators, the judiciary rather than the judges. The people working in the institutions are not considered important by this approach because their interests are tied up with the institution in which they work. Their behavior is shaped by their institution because they are paid by the institution and their own growth depends upon the growth of the institution. The institution thus become political actor. The institution mold the thought as well as the actions of the individual. The evolution of institution leads to both short term as well as long term consequences. Such so the institution have to be analyzed. They are not static structures but always in a state of flux, adapting, evolving and changing. The individual just grow up with the institution because of their vested interest. In this way, many institutions thicken naturally over time, developing their internal procedures also become accepted by external actions as well as a part of the governing approaches. In other words, the institution becomes a node in network and in so doing entrenches its position. This process is also called institutionalization. The members of an institution also agree to conform to certain rules. Politics is a study of people's interaction with each other and also a study of conflict and sources of these conflict. The emphasis is to study the various ways in which people settle their conflict. Although people do not essentially need institution to settle their differences, they do normally tend to create some type of political institution such as parliament, court or party in order to help them keep their conflicts under control. Institutions serve several purposes. They resolve conflicts, they frame laws and they help in maintaining the state and government. Institutional approach analyzes the way these institutions maintain order in the state by framing certain rules and procedures. Political institution thus become the central concern of institutional approach. Credit goes to Europe and North America to develop the modern institution and then pass them on to countries in Asia and Africa. These countries were colonies of Europe and the institution were imposed on the colonies. In some cases they succeeded in others, they did not and new institution evolved with the passage of time. Thus, a study of the various institution helps us to understand the society better. This approach studies that how institution respond to the change in any society. It also deals as to how institution heal it in changes or are sometime obstacle to changes. Institutions are studied because they are expected to perform in certain ways. Politics, this approach feels, is possible only because of institution. The study also encompasses as to how political institutions are captured by various groups and how the institutions are manipulated. The approach deal with whether institutions have been created, why they have been created, on some personal whim or demand of special circumstances, whether they are manifestation of a particular political culture or ideology. But in a majority of cases, institutions evolve, they can rarely be created. Political institutions are, on the contrary, the agreed form of organizing people into order, which is determined in a particular situation. In countries like China, institutions in the past had been broken down, liquidated and replaced. The institutions in China have been attacked and modified. Study of such institution through the institutional approach becomes very important. This approach study the responses of the various institution towards exigencies. It analyzes how institution of social order govern and control the behavior of individual. It also details how institution of social order govern and control the behavior of individual. 
It also details how institutions are organized, how they function, the effect of institution on each other and on individuals. It also deals with the origin and evolution of institutions and why individuals construct the various institutions. Institutions, their formation, operation, organization and change are started. The three branches, legislature, executive and judiciary have to be started so that one can gain an insight into decisions taken by these formal institutions. It also analyses the rules of the political system. The legislative bodies, the working of the constitution are also its focus. The institutional approach stresses on the study of constitutions. For about 200 years, written constitution have been the most common device for defining the institution of government in the West. Initially, the observer argued that there were only two types of government, parliamentary and presidential, reflecting the British and the American government, which were successful. The institutional approach also started elections that played a crucial role in setting up liberal institutions. Competition among diverse groups, interactions of the constitution and the state also helped in the evolution of political, formal institution. Liberal politics is competitive because it is believed that only by permitting the competitive clash of opinions can a state succeed in establishing viable and successful political institutions. In the West, this has normally meant the clash of groups and established parties or opinions who agree on how they disagree and who have developed the institutions in politics which reflect their attitudes to life. The institutional approach studies the reason behind the failure of the same political institutions in some countries of Asia and Africa, which were otherwise successful institutions in UK, USA, France, etc. Even France borrowed liberally from United Kingdoms and America and was successful. In Vietnam, America felt that good political institution would be the answer to the turmoil that the former was undergoing, but it is proved to be a failure. The Western power realized that it is evident that a building to a house, what looks like a parliament, does not in fact create a parliament. Thus, the institutional approach is necessary to understand the various institutions, for on the face they might be similar, yet the intricacy of each institution makes it is a good study. The roots of comparative political analysis are in institutional analysis. As far back as Aristotle, scholars interested in, in understanding government performance and seeking to improve their performance concentrated on constitutional structures and the institution created by those constitutions. They argued that normative institutionalism considered institutions are composed of rules that shape of behavior of the individuals. The rational choice institutions viewed institutions to be an aggregate of incentives and disincentives that influence individual choice. Historical institutions stresses on the role of ideas and persistence of institutional choice over long period of time, even in face of potential dysfunctionalism. Institutional approach thus emphasizes on the role of former institutions and how they have evolved and are organized. The impact of institution on policy making, policy stability and performance is studied in detail. It studied how individuals come together to make institutions fulfill their needs. Institution approach discusses the persistence of political institution which proves that institutions are central in the study of political science. It also includes electoral laws, party system, bureaucracy, difference between parliamentary and prudential form and federal and uni unitary forms. The role and the interaction of the interest group is of importance. Criticism. The drawback of this approach is that it emphasizes on the study of institutions while totally ignoring the individuals who perform the various tasks of policy making and law framing. The individual is sidelined, pushed to the back burner and the institution which is 
Of course, our literal actor gets all the attention. Moreover, the institutions in the developed areas geographically are focused upon. The institutions in Western Europe and North America capture all the attentions of the researcher. The approach is also criticized for being speculative and normative. Lack of systematic comparison is another point that goes against the institutional approach. Thus, the results were not consistent. This much emphasis on values proved to be the death knell of the institutional approach as well as other traditional approaches. They were phased out to make way of comparative politics which promised to predict political events. The latter tried to prove itself as a more empirical, more scientific, more systematic way of study of politics. They were blamed for being more idealistic and concerned with what ought to be than what is. The approach is not even concerned with the impact of the rules of the institutions on the individual. The individual constituting the institutions are not important. Thus, it ignores the objective reality. So, in the end, I can conclude that institutions plays a very important role in the working of any institutions. Institutions also give recommendations to the various ideal state. Institutions also tells us about the working of the various organs of the government, that is the legislature, the executive and judiciary, and also it provides us about the decision-making process. Institutions also gives us about the educative values of the different structures of the government and also about the various institutions. And last, uh, institutions also provide us the disciplined way of life. Thank you.